here given for the AP minus 3 minus 7 minus 11 up to so on can we find A30 minus A20 without actually finding A30 and A20. So here the difference between 30 term and the 20th term 1 asked. So for that given series that is AP2 given AP is minus 3 minus 7 minus 11 and so on. So here the first term A indicates minus 3 and second term A2 equal to minus 7. So we find the common difference A D equal to A3 my A1 minus A2 minus A1 that equal to minus 7 minus half minus 3. So minus into minus becomes plus. So minus 7 plus 3 minus 7 plus 3 is equal to minus 4. So D value is minus 4k. Now our to find A30 minus A20. So without finding the a 30th value and 20th value of this series. So now by the general form a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d2 we can write a 30 equal to a plus 20 b 29 d and a 20 is equal to we can write a plus 19 d. So a plus 20 d minus of a plus 19 d. So, this a plus 19 d is multiplying with minus that is minus a minus 19 d. So, a plus 29 d minus a minus 19 d. So, a minus a gets cancelled. 29 d minus 19 d is equal to that is 10 d. 29 d minus 19 d is 10 d. Now we know from here d value is minus 4. So that one substituting 10 into minus 4 that equal to minus 40. So a30 minus a20 value is minus 40. So without finding that a30 and a20 terms, now we find, find the a30 minus a20 given the 17th term of an arithmetic progression exceeds its 10th term by 7. Find the common difference. So here given in an AP A17 is equal to A plus 16 D we can write and 10th term A10 that is equal to a plus 9 d. Now here given 7th term exceeds 10th term by 7. That means we can write a 17 is equal to a 10 plus 7. So 17th term is equal to 10th term to 7 exceed. Now this plus a 10 transfer to this side minus a 10. So, a 17 minus a 10 is equal to 7. Now, a 17 value, a 10 value we substituting that is nothing but a plus 16 d minus of a plus 9 d is equal to 7. So, a plus 16 d. So, minus to multiplication doing it is minus a minus 9 d is equal to 7. A, A gets cancelled. 16 D minus 9 D is 7 D. 7 D is equal to 7. Now multiplication 7 transfers to this side uh, division. So 7 by 7 is equal to 1. So D is nothing but the common difference. So our task could common difference of this AP is how much? So common difference of this AP is 1. For what values of n are the nth terms of 2 APs 63, 65, 67 up to so on and 3, 10, 17 up to so on are equal. That is the problem given. So here the given first series, the given 
first AP is 63, 65, 67 up to so on. Now here we have to find nth term. So a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So a value and d value we find it. So a1 is equal to a equal to 63 and the second term a2 equal to 65 by using these two terms we find d value d is equal to a2 minus a1 that is equal to 65 minus 63 is equal to 2 now the general term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so a equal to 63 plus n minus 1 into d equal to 2 now 2 is multiplying with n minus 1 2 into n is 2n and 2 once 2 so 63 plus 2n minus 1 so 63 minus 1 2 is 2 only so 63 minus 2 is equal to 61 so 2n plus 61 so nth term of the first series is 2n plus 61 now given the second series the second ap is 3 10 17 and so on now from this we find a n general form purpose first we have to find first term a and the common difference d so here a1 is equal to a equal to 3 and second term a2 equal to 10 then the common difference d equal to a2 minus a1 that equal to 10 minus 3 is equal to 7 now a n is equal to general form a plus n minus 1 into d here a equal to 3 and d value is 7 so that equal to 3 plus 7 n minus 1 into 7 is 7 n minus 7 so 3 minus 7 is minus 4 so a n the nth term of the second series is 7 n minus 4 by the given problem both nth terms are equal that is given so by the given problem n plus 61 is equal to 7 n minus 4 now this plus 2 n transfers to that side minus 2 n 7 n minus 2 n that is nothing but 5 n now this minus 4 transfers to this side plus 4 61 plus 4 that equal to 65 now multiplication 5 transfer to this set division so n equal to 65 by 5 so 5 1s 5 13s so n equal to 13 that means here 13th terms of these two ap's are equal 13th terms of these two arithmetic progressions are equal so now if we check the 13th terms of these two ap's for that first one a 13 is equal to nothing but a plus 12d so for that first series if we observed a value is 63 and d value is 2 so 12 2 is 24 63 plus 24 that is 87 so for that first series 13th term is 87 for that second series we find the 13th term so that equal to a equal to 7 and d is equal to a equal to 3 and d equal to 7 so 3 plus 12 into 7 so 12 7 so 84 so 3 plus 84 is nothing but 87 so both 13th terms are equal problem is 
determine the AP whose third term is 16 and seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. So we have to find the arithmetic progression. That purpose third term is given. That is as 16. But here given a seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. That is the information given. So here given in an arithmetic progression the third term a3 is equal to 16 so a3 is nothing but a plus 2d is 16 given and here seventh term a7 means we can write it as a plus 6d and the fifth term a5 is equal to a plus 4d we can write but here given a7 is equal to a5 plus 12 exceeds asked so a by given the problem now we can write a7 is equal to a5 plus 12. So, a7 is a plus 6d is equal to a plus 4d plus 12. Now, plus a plus 4d transfer to this side minus a minus 4d. So, a plus 6d minus a minus 4d is equal to 12. a minus a gets cancelled. 6d minus 4d is equal to 2d. 2d is equal to 12. Now multiplication to transfer to this side that is division. 12 by 2 is 6. So the common difference of this series is 6. Now that 6 value substituting in the first equation from equation 1. Now we can write a plus 2d equal to 16. Now, d value is 6. Substituting 2 into 6 equal to 16. So, 2 6 is 12. So, a plus 12 equal to 16. Now, plus 12 transfers to that side minus 12. So, a equal to 16 minus 12 that is nothing but 4. So, the first term of a p is 4 and the common difference 6. Now, here we have to find the arithmetic progression. So, the arithmetic progression AP is generally we can write as A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. Otherwise, A, A plus D and A2 plus D, A3 plus D and so on. So, here a is 4 and d value is 6 so 4 plus 6 4 plus 2 into 6 a plus 2 d. third term 4 plus 3 into 6 and so on that means here 4 4 plus 6 equal to 10 and 2 6 is 12 12 plus 4 is 14 12 plus 4 equal to 16 and 3 6 is 18 18 plus 4 equal to 22 and so on so the ap is 4 10 16 22 and we can write 28 so on so given the problem the sum of the fourth and eighth terms of an ap is 24 and the sum of the sixth and tenth terms of is 44 find the first three terms of the AP. So, here given in an AP, so the first fourth term A4 is equal to A plus 3D we can write and eighth term A8 is equal to A plus 7d 
नेक्स्ट सिक्स टर्म ए सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू ए प्लस फाइव डी एंड द टेन्थ टर्म ए टेन इज ईक्वल टू ए प्लस नाइन डी नाउ सो फोर्थ टर्म एथ टर्म्स एडिशन इज ट्वेंटी फोर गिवेन सो बै द गिवेन प्रॉब्लम द टू टर्म्स ए फोर एंड एट इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो ए फोर इज ए प्लस थ्री डी एट इज ए प्लस सेवन डी is equal to 24 so a plus a is 2a 3d plus 7d is equal to 10d that is equal to 24 this will be taking as first equation and here second one given the sum of 6th and 10th terms is 44 so a6 plus a10 is equal to 44 so a6 equal to a plus 5d And a ten is equal to a plus ninety. That is equal to forty four. A plus a two a and five d plus ninety. That is equal to fourteen d is equal to forty four. That is equation two. Now, if we get a and d values, then we find the first three terms of the a p. So, that purpose subtracting equation one. From equation two, subtracting equation one from equation two. So two a plus fourteen d equal to forty four, and two a plus ten d is equal to twenty four. Now by subtraction we have to change the symbols. So plus twenty four is minus twenty four. Plus ten d is minus ten d. Plus two y is minus two y. Two y minus two y gets the answer. Fourteen d minus ten d is equal to four d. Twenty four minus forty four minus twenty four. That is twenty. Now d is equal to four d equal to twenty. So multiplication for transfer to that side division. 20 by 4. 20 by 4 is nothing but 5. So common difference of the series is 5. Now that d value 5 substituting in first or second equation, we get the a value. So from that first equation, if we observe it, our two, the first equation is 2a plus 10d is equal to 24. Now the D value we get as five, so two a plus ten into five, so ten five is fifty, so two a plus fifty is equal to twenty four. Now plus fifty transfers to that side minus fifty, so two a equal to twenty four minus fifty, so twenty four minus fifty is nothing but minus twenty six. So 2a equal to minus 26, then a equal to minus 26 by 2, that equal to minus 13. So the first term is minus 13. So second term is a2 equal to a plus d, that means minus 13 plus d equal to 5. So minus 13 plus 5 is nothing but minus 8. Next third term a3 is equal to simply a2 plus d we can write that means minus 8 plus 5 common difference minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3 so the first three terms of the ap are minus 13 minus 8 minus 3 therefore the first three terms Of a p is minus thirteen, 
माइनस एट एंड माइनस थ्री सो गिवेन द प्रॉब्लम डिटरमाइन द एपी हूज थर्ड टर्म इज फाइव एंड सेवंत टर्म इज नाइन सो गिवेन इन एन एपी थर्ड टर्म ए थ्री ईक्वल टू फाइव सो बै द जनरल फॉर्म आफ एन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेस एन ईक्वल टू ए प्लस एन मैनस वन इंटू डी बै दट ए थ्री ईक्वल टू वी कैन रईट ए प्लस टू डी सो ए प्लस टू डी इज ईक्वल टू फाइव नव गिवेन द सेवंत टर्म ए सेवन ईज ईक्वल टू नईन सो दट ईज नथिंग बट ए प्लस सिक्स डी इज ईक्वल टू नईन सो दट ईज द सैकंड इक्वेशन Now, by these two equations simplification, we get a and d. That means the first term and the common difference. By using that one, we can write the arithmetic progression. So, subtracting equation one from equation two, now we can write a plus six d equal to nine. And a plus 2d is equal to 5. By subtraction, we have to change the symbols. So that plus 5 will be minus 5. Plus 2d will be minus 2d. Plus a will minus a. So a minus a gets the answer. 6d minus 2d is equal to 4d. And 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. So 4d equal to 4. Then d equal to multiplication 4 transfers to this side division. 4 by 4 is nothing but 1. So common difference of the series is 1. Now the d value substituting in any one equation we get k value. So from equation 2. So the second equation is given a plus 6d is equal to 9. Now the d value one substituting 6 into 1. So 6 one so 6. So a plus six equal to nine. Then plus six transfers to that side minus six. Nine minus six equal to three. So the first term a equal to three. So our to ask you what is the AP? So the arithmetic progression AP is a a plus d a plus two d a plus three d and so on. That means three. 3 plus 1, the first term is 3, and the common difference 1. So 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2 into 1, 3 plus 3 into 1, and so on. So 3 plus 1 is nothing but 4. 2 once 2, 2 plus 3 equal to 5. 3 once 3, 3 plus 3 equal to 6. So the arithmetic progression is 3. Four, five, six, and so on. The given problem: two APs have the same common difference. The difference between their hundredth terms is hundred. What is the difference between their thousand terms? That means here two APs hundredth terms difference hundred given. We have to find thousands terms difference. How much? So here the two series are not given. But both the series have the same common difference given, so we have to only fill. So let the first arithmetic progression to first term filling as a and common difference. D. Then the hundredth term. So hundredth term. Y n is equal to. So the general form of Y n is Y plus n minus one into D. So Y hundred is equal to Y plus ninety nine D. And thousandth term. Y 
ए थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी नाइन डी दैट इज हंड्रेड तो टर्म एंड थाउजेंड तो टर्म नाउ द सेकंड एपी फर्स्ट टर्म Feeling as B and the common difference is same given. That purpose common difference is D only feeling. Then the hundredth term for that second series, A hundred is equal to. So here A means the first term of B. So B hundred is equal to B plus. Ninety nine D and the thousandth term B thousand is equal to B plus nine hundred and ninety nine D. Here our two given their hundredth terms difference is hundred given. So by the given problem. There two hundredth terms difference is hundred given. That means a hundred minus b hundred is equal to hundred given. So a hundred is nothing but a plus ninety nine d, and b hundred is nothing but b plus ninety nine d is equal to hundred. So a plus ninety nine d minus of b plus ninety nine d equal to hundred. So minus to this one multiplication that is nothing but minus b minus ninety nine d. So a plus ninety nine d minus b minus ninety nine d equal to hundred. So plus ninety nine d minus ninety nine d gets the answer. That means a minus b is equal to hundred. So a minus b value we get as Hundred. So this will be taking as the equation one. Now our to ask you, what is the difference between their thousands to third? So, a thousand minus b thousand finding. That is nothing but a thousand is a plus triple nine d. And b thousand is b plus nine hundred and ninety nine. D so minus half B plus nine hundred and ninety nine D so minus half minus two multiplication doing purpose it is minus B minus nine hundred and ninety nine D so A plus nine hundred and ninety nine D minus B minus nine hundred and ninety nine D so that is equal to plus nine hundred and ninety nine D minus nine hundred and ninety nine D both work gets cancelled. That means remainder one is a minus b. So from equation one, a minus b value we know that that is a hundred. So from equation one we can write a minus b equal to one. That means the thousands terms difference a thousand minus b thousand is equal to hundred. So there hundreds terms difference is also hundred only. Game.